Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a very wet and cold Silverstone racing circuit. We are here today because a lot of you who follow the channel regularly may know that I have sponsored a racing driver this year in the Porsche Carrera Cup of Great Britain, Jack Butel, who is racing with the Toro Verde team. You can see their trucks behind me. It's very fancy in there. We'll get in there later and check out all of their equipment and everything. And it's the press day today. This is the first opportunity for Jack to get in his car, drive it, get to know the car before they start racing properly in about a month's time. We jumped at the opportunity to come here, check out the garage, check out the car. It's not even got its livery on yet. so. Let's get to see the first glimpse of this car, hear it going around the track and see what it's all about. Meet the team and drum up some interest in this amongst our subscribers. Hopefully you'll want to follow Jack, see how his racing uh, season goes. He seems like he's got a pretty good chance this season um, of doing really well. So I'm actually really excited. I'm looking to get to a few races as well myself. So hopefully you enjoy this. If you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe for all the future videos coming. Yeah, so we'll head on in there. We'll get in the garage. We'll check out the car. We'll check out all the stuff they've got going on and hopefully get a chance to see this car on the track. So this is Jack's car, the driver that we're sponsoring. That's pretty awesome that it's got these kind of like hydraulic air-powered rams that lift it up off the ground so they can change the wheels over quickly, which show these absolutely huge Brembo brakes. My favorite part of this is inside. If you look in the cockpit, A, these carbon fiber doors that you can see like this are the lightest door I've ever operated in my life. It doesn't seem realistic that they're actually a door. And then I wouldn't even be able to get in there. I mean, Watching Jack get in was quite awkward looking, but imagine me trying to get in there. But look at it in here. That is possibly the coolest cockpit I've actually ever seen in my life. You've got all the little buttons on the side for your lights and I guess fans and whatever. LED screen in the middle for gears. I don't know, you've got loads of information on there, I imagine. Probably got your lap time, brake bias, all kinds of stuff. Flappy paddles on the back of here. It's not even a proper full steering wheel, it's like a race steering wheel with a million and one buttons that I would have no idea what they do. Actually, it smells like a new car in there though, which is quite amazing. I thought it would smell like, you know, the nicest possible way to jack sweaty racer bum. Because cars and helmets normally do stink, don't they? Especially motorbike ones, things like that. But it smells like a brand new car in there. I guess it is. These come factory made from Porsche. For this, they're all the same. Obviously, some have got different kind of livery and things on, but mechanically all the same. They've all got the four litre flat six boxer engine which makes 510 horsepower. I was watching some like stuff from C's last season, um, 2023. When you're watching them go around the track on the camera, they don't look as fast as I thought maybe they would be 510, but honestly, when you see them going around the track here, they look properly fast and they sound awesome too. They have done, gone out this morning, done a bit. It's a bit wet now. So I think while they have gone out on some wet tires, like you see, there's just a collection of wheels. Can you imagine how much they are? There's a set of tires is two grand, they were saying. God knows how much the wheels are and how many sets of wheels there are. Like, absolutely crazy. So yeah, this is Jack's first time out in this car, but he's been pushing on. He's been going pretty quick. His dad, I was speaking to, Derek said that he's within 1.3 seconds of the pole position for last season. This is the first time he's ever been in this car today, driving it, having come from uh, British Touring Car Championships in a Seat, which is completely different. The Cooper is going very well indeed. There's Jack Butel. Um, he's uh, on, on, well, he's just outside in 11th, isn't he? But he's got time for another lap. But he's also on for his best ever qualifying if he's 11th. So that would be a great result for Jack Butel. And we're a minute away from that coming good for him. Front engine, front wheel drive, I think. I could be wrong. Um, but this is obviously rear engine and rear wheel drive. He's got James, his uh, driving coach here, who's an ex-Formula One test driver, done a lot of racing. He's saying that he needs to, he's giving him some tips, obviously. This is the first time out, but 
needs to kind of trail break into all the corners i guess to keep the balance right because this is a rear engine car but yeah haven't been here now i'm really excited to kind of see how this season pans out i'm very excited to see this car with its livery on because what difference it makes from this car over here or both of them actually how smart they look with all their livery on the toro verde cars are still currently just in their kind of factory silver um, and they're getting getting wrapped on tuesday so there'll be some press information out tomorrow probably by the time this video comes out those pictures will be out i have seen what the design looks like actually but we're not allowed to share that until it's on so when that gets on we'll put that in the video there because at the moment it's just waiting to be wrapped it's a bit of a patchwork car so guys hope you're enjoying the video hopefully enough that you want to subscribe anyway but if you haven't subscribed yet then i've got something to tempt you to do it people always ask please subscribe i'm offering you something in return i'm giving away this tag hoyer formula one watch i would have done for this video would it be more fitting if i did a a porsche 911 watch but they don't they do make a carrera to be fair i should have got that but next time around maybe we'll do that in the meantime you can win this tag hoyer watch worth two thousand pounds completely free all you've got to do is be a subscriber and as soon as we hit seventy five thousand pounds i'm giving it away and i'll tell you what i'll even throw in some 96 butel merch back to the video right so this is jack himself pleasure to meet you finally and you and you this is the car you're going to be racing with this year it is a bit different than last year's car it's um yeah well it's a porsche what it else is, could you yeah. say about it it's, um how are you getting on with it because it looks pretty awesome yeah i mean as you see today we've had uh, a bit of a mixed conditions at the start we had lovely dry weather yeah and then yeah now we've got lovely rain have you been out in the wet now we have yeah How yeah was it? it was it's uh, surprisingly grippy i was um obviously you never know first time driving a car i wasn't expecting to be anywhere near where i thought i was and then yeah find found some pace and yeah, yeah the car's great i'm very impressed what porsche have done with uh yeah, yeah. with the setup yeah, it's exciting. It's exciting to kind of come and meet you finally and um, be able to get behind you and see how the season's going to go. Definitely. Dad's it's feeling a... very optimistic. Are you feeling yeah. optimistic? I am. I'm feeling a lot more relaxed. Yeah. Um, I think last year I was very tense with everything that was going on. Uh, this year I already feel relaxed. feels nice. Um, and like I said, it's, it's great to have you guys on board as well. It uh, seems like you've got a great good. team here and everything else. Yeah, the guys are mega. They're away working and yeah built a really strong bond already which i think you know in a company it's always about how we all bond together and yeah, and we've bonded amazingly so yeah it'd be great brilliant. to get the season underway what's really cool is they do actually have i mean they they refer to it as a gopro but it's not they've obviously got like tv quality cameras in fact if i open this up you can see inside there's one there that faces the driver and one there that's facing out we were watching this in the race truck earlier so they have got really high quality footage of the track ahead, of the driver. They were watching it, kind of evaluating what needs to change. Just, they go out and do a few laps, come back in and Jack would say, oh, I've got to, go and, got to do some data. Because they just tell you when you were braking, when all that kind of stuff. All you race fans will already know about. But they did say we could get some footage from that. So hopefully we can get some shots of Jack taking this thing around the track as well. And I'm looking forward to when it comes to actually racing getting some good shots of that as well when he's getting in amongst it and uh yeah getting some racing done have you seen the size of the wang on this thing toby you need one of these on the golf mate shame it's such bad weather today toby can show you the rain out there started off quite dry and sunny but now not so much looks like jack's teammate has um been in the gravel perhaps because it was wet so they're just getting all the bits of gravel and everything out of it now. Imagine how handy it would be if all of our cars had little pneumatic rods that shot out so that you could just work on them like that. And what they've done is put like little extenders on the bottom of it and shot them up. I don't know how many cars we've actually got here today. So I'm going stick my head out in the rain because we're in one garage. We're obviously three teams by the looks of it. Um, oh. They're all shut up, basically, but there are rows and rows of cars down there, all the different competitors. It's interesting. Hopefully everyone who's watching this, you know, is interested in motorsport, can get behind Jack. Follow him on, on his Instagrams and things like that. It's Jack underscore Butel underscore racing, I believe. But Toby will put that on the bottom of the screen. 
and we can follow his kind of like racing. You actually, I find it so much more interesting with motorsport when you actually get behind someone and you can kind of, you know, share in the highs and lows of them winning, crashing out, whatever happens, hopefully winning in this case. Yeah, I think they're feeling quite confident that Jack's got a good chance this season. So um, it'd be cool to see cars bought for more on his leathers and on the car somewhere. I'm going to be milking that for all it's worth. And Jack has even said that maybe he's going to let me drive this. No, he's not going to do that. But he might come on a track day with us if I buy some crap car and um, you know, see if he can keep up with me, basically, around Castle Coombe. I am the king of Castle Coombe, so we'll see. Turns out Silverstone garages aren't the most waterproof either, because it seems to just be leaking in down the wall. How have they managed? Ah, I'm just looking at this here where they've taken the, uh, the trunk lid off where you can see the engine. And I was trying to figure out how that lid has opened up to go through the wang, but it hasn't. I think they've taken it off completely and rested it on top. It's quite a charmed life really, isn't it, being a racing driver? You crash your car out, fill it up with gravel, and you go off and have some lunch in a heated trailer, and the techs just get in there and start picking bits of gravel out so you can go out and have more fun again. I'd quite like to be a racing driver, I think. I would have to lose some weight, for sure, but worth it. Do you reckon they'll let me have a wheel as like a coffee table for being such a sponsor? I mean, that wheel was worth more than my sponsorship, I have to say, to be honest. But if you're watching this, make sure you follow Jack, make sure you follow the TV. We've plenty of updates throughout the, uh, throughout the year. We're going to get to some races as well, so we'll keep you the updates, but get behind Jack. Uh, we're hoping he has a really good season. Yeah, fingers crossed. Can't, I mean, it can't be any worse than last year, so <laughs> yeah, be good.